Ichiwao. Hi, my name is Charlene Johnny, and I'm here today working on the mural at the BCCDC. I was approached by the BCCDC to do a mural in honor of the missing children and Indian residential school survivors. Rather than focus on the pain and atrocity that took place in our past, I wanted to focus on the resilience and love and healing journey that I personally and Indigenous people have been on. And so I wanted to create an art piece that reflects love, strength, and resilience. Uh, we have a number of things in this mural and my inspiration was drawn from Every Child Matters movement. Um, and when you see these things in other artists' work and in the media, you see the color orange, you see hearts, and you see hands. But the image that came to mind when I was thinking of hearts, I thought of swans. Um, when swans meet, they look like a heart. I chose to use swan imagery in my mural because they represent fierceness, they represent strength, and they are extremely protective of their young. And we as Indigenous people embody those qualities, fierceness, resilience, strength, and we are protective of our babies. The idea of reflection is actually very common in my artwork, I'd say. Um, I typically like to honor the four directions, and that can be done in many ways artistically for me. And in this mural specifically, I've used uh, four reflecting images, so horizontally and vertically. Um, we have swans reflecting each other and their greeting, and then in the sky and in the water, we have ripples that are reflecting each other. And so it shows our relation to the past, the present, and the future. Uh, a lot of conversations that we have talk about uh, the ripple effect and how it relates to pain, but we don't often talk about how there's two aspects of that. We can inherit pain, but we can also inherit strength. And I think that's a direct reflection of Indigenous people is our strength.